himself another island hike ground. This is Camino. I've literally just walked two minutes around the corner from the Blue Lagoon, which is the famous site there where everyone goes basically on a boat from Malta and Gozo. Um, two minutes around the corner and nobody here. All those douchebags there with their Euro trash pumping house music and their overpriced booze. Bring a picnic, come here. <laughs> Then again, maybe it's a bit choppy for swimming. There's no jellyfish around here though. The amount of jellyfish in that blue lagoon was insane. I was hoping for a swim as well, but no, <laughs> no. I've been stung once by a jellyfish when I was about 14. And uh, the tentacles, with the marks on the tentacles are still there about two years later. It was a sore one. And no, nobody urinated on it either. If that's what you're thinking. So Camino, why Camino? Well, why not? It's the most remote of the uh, inhabited Maltese islands. I say inhabited, it's got a permanent residence of two. Although, as you will have seen at the Blue Lagoon, where I jumped off the boat, there's a lot of vendors that come in for the day, and a lot of day trippers. But this, I believe, is the only hotel And it looks like it's under re renovation at the moment. Uh, so I was supposed to go back to Malta today, to the main island. And I was going to do a bit of hiking there and a bit of wild camping. And I was researching it, I just couldn't find anywhere uh, suitable, especially if it got windy tonight, which it has been really windy the last few nights. Um, so I had a quick look at Camino and how remote it is. And, and there's quite a few old buildings here. Um, well, I'll say quite a few, two or three. But the main thing that appealed to me is it's gonna be quiet. Once these day trippers are gone, it's just gonna be quiet. It's just gonna be so remote. I don't think anyone's gonna see me while camping. As long as I'm not next to the beach having a fire, I should be all right. As much as I really do fancy having a fire. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I've found an old fort and an old leper colony uh, building there, but I think people actually live in there. Not lepers. Well, hopefully not, anyway. <laughs> Otherwise it'd be an interesting night. So if you watch my Gozo video part three, over there is St. Anthony's Battery, there. That's where I talk a bit about Camino, just looking across to it. And over there, obviously this is Camino Hotel. Beyond it, up here, is Majar. And Majar is the ferry port for Gozo and where I finished the hike the other day. Um, where I've got to go, Today, Camino, it's only, it's only about a six miles loop around the island. Uh, Gozo took three days. I could do this in less than three hours. But I'm taking my time, I want to have a look around. Possibly a swim. But those je <laughs> jellyfish put me right off, to be honest. I hate the bastards. I hate them almost as much as I hate cockroaches.
Now here's a luxury I wasn't expecting, a bench. So I'm gonna show you my food for the next 24 hours, my ration. One flapjack, two flapjacks, toffee and chocolate. A croissant, a chocolate muffin, I don't even know, cocoa, cocoa cream pizza with cocoa chocolate filling. Very decadent. A catch bar, I don't know what that is, that's new to me. A high fibre brownie, two large oranges. In here we've got a roll. And custard tuck, peas, that's like a pasty, peas pasty. Um, very typical of Malta. Oregano peanuts, you know you're near Italy when you've got oregano. And some sweet, nutty, crispy things. Another croissant, two bananas. It's fruit salad, which I think I'm going to have now because it's starting to, well, the packaging is starting to wilt a little bit. And of course, the main thing a few litres of water. If that doesn't keep me going till nine o'clock tomorrow morning, um, the beach bar is open, but a flipping rip off, to be honest. I, th I think a burger was 750, whereas a few miles over that way on. Uh, Gozo, you get it for about three quid. So, anyway, I'm going to tuck into this fruit and enjoy the view. No jellyfish in this bit. <sighs> Seaweed, yes. Jellyfish, no. Woo! It's a bit fresh. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. <sighs> oh, bliss. That was glorious, I feel so much better now. Um, I was a bit tired actually earlier because I didn't get very good sleep last night in the hotel. But yeah, that's really woke me up. I felt really good in there. It's a bit fresh, it's still only March, but um, lovely, absolutely glorious. Um, I spoke to a young couple and sort of convinced them to go in. The guy was pretty shy about it. It was a bit like, I'm hmm, not sure uh, how cold is it, etc. Um, now, <laughs> now we start bollock naked in there, um, in front of the police station as well. So, initially I thought he was shy, but clearly not. <laughs> Lovely little spot that was. Uh, it's back to hiking now. Um, I'm making pathetic progress. I've been here about an hour and a half. And I think I've done just over a mile. <laughs> um, just keep stopping to look at stuff. Um, no real hurry. Got until about six o'clock before it gets dark. Just need to find somewhere to camp. This place is like, it's so strange. It's like the land that time forgot. I mean, look at this church.
the early 16th century. It just feels like you can almost imagine it being then. You know, nothing seems to. There's no real modern development or anything here. There's no people. <laughs> the only people I've seen are other tourists. And I'll be gone soon. Of the whole islands myself, that'd be nice. My own private islands. Now over on the east coast of Camino, looking over there, that's the north of Malta, that's the Pauls Bay, Slima, St Julian's Bay, Valletta in the distance, and over there you have the uh, Gozo Ferry Terminal, and I'm heading this direction. Look at that, amazing. I think I found my spot for the night. In here, as long as nobody comes along later and closes it. 10 past four now, about two hours before sunset. Wow, look at it. Been here about an hour now. Weather's still absolutely glorious. Uh, haven't seen a soul yet. Not a sausage, apart from obviously the boats going past, but not a single person. I thought I heard people occasionally, but it just it's just the seagulls making the odd noise. 
I found another little room here. A bit dark and dingy. And the ground is a bit, a bit uneven, so it won't make a very comfortable night's sleep. So I'm going to stay in the main room. Yeah, very happy with this little spot. I highly doubt anyone's gonna walk from the main part of the island back there all the way over here. There's no other way to get here other than walk. Um, certainly won't be able to cycle it. There's no paths, um, no roads, no tracks. It's just hiking over the boulders. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep chilling. I saw something scuttle there, I don't know if it's a lizard or a rat. There's loads of lizards around. I don't mind lizards, but not that keen on rats. I'm gonna zip up my bag in a minute, just in case it's got my food in it. But yeah, that's my view. I've been watching the sun go down. Watch the ships roll in and watch them roll away again. I'll bring you back just before sunset if I don't get moved on. having a little walk around the perimeter of my fort. Um, been a bit of an umpty guys. I didn't realise the clocks changed. The clocks went forward um, on Sunday at two o'clock in the morning, which was when I was out wild camping last time in the abandoned hotel over in Gozo. So when I thought today sunset was going to be at six o'clock, it's actually going to be at seven o'clock. And since we're almost a week later than last time, I checked the sunset. It's actually gonna be about 20 past seven. So I got here around three hours before <laughs> sunset, which is a bit silly, but never mind, no one's no one's turned up yet. Nobody's here. And I think I'm gonna be safe for the evening, unless there's someone in the uh the old pig farm that's uh back behind the fort, but I haven't heard a, any anything at all. I haven't heard a sound apart from the seagulls, the odd plane, boats, and of course the waves. They're very peaceful. Just been sat reading for pretty much the whole two hours, really. Uh, so, yeah, just gone half six now. So we've got about 50 minutes before sunset and that's when I start setting up the bivvy. Um, great thing about this fort as well is uh, all the windows and the doors work so actually close <laughs> the windows and the doors behind me to stop the wind getting in which is just going to be amazing. I'm actually going to be warm. this floor here. So the latches for the windows, latches for the doors. Could even lock the door behind me. I might even just move in. <laughs> what a great place.
Right guys, that's about it for today. The bright lights of Malta are shining. Temperature's dropped, but it's still quite still. It would actually be uh, probably an all right night for sleeping out tonight. But why sleep out when you can sleep in? Uh, oh, it's pitch black in here, so you can't really see, but this is my boudoir for the evening. There's my view. Yeah, the window's gonna get closed soon, <laughs> as is this door. And tomorrow we'll do the rest of the island. The um, former isolation hospital, which I think is uh, a politically correct word for the loony bin. It all sounds very Shutter Island. I don't know if you've seen that film, Shutter Island. Great film with Leonardo DiCaprio. Go watch it. Watch the rest of this video first and then watch it and I've been trying to find out more about this leper colony I think Camino just in general was a leper colony where the Brits back in the day sent the lepers I wasn't sent here by the way I came of my own accord uh, but yeah I'm talking rubbish now I didn't sleep very well last night so uh, probably a bit of crap video this one <laughs> but um, who knows I might sleep really well and be full of beans tomorrow but yeah that's it right I'm gonna hunker down now see you in the morning Today, oh, what was a still night turned into a pretty windy night. Ooh. I slept well though, got to sleep about half ten, and it's now about quarter past seven, and I've not long woken up. I did get woken up a couple of times once. Um, bloody mosquito buzzing around well, it might have been a mozzie I don't know what it was but it's buzzing one of those ones that buzzes around your ear hole uh, but I was prepared for that I'll show you ta-da ain't no mozzie getting to me with this on so yeah as soon as I whack this on went for a quick pee uh, went back into the fort and uh, closed the door because I'd left it ajar because I was hoping to sort of you know wake up when it got light but um, the draft was getting in and it was getting bloody cold when the wind got up but yeah I've got two and a half hours before my ferry over to Malta over there you see the old Gozo ferry there Take it a bit closer so you can definitely see it. Over there. So I'm going to have a quick look at the pig farm, I think, and then I'm going to have a look at the loony bin. Um, and I think there's a couple more little caves and lagoons and stuff, so plenty to do for the next couple of hours. But first, it's breakfast time. Remember guys, leave no trace. Always leave places better than when you found it. Right, now I'm heading up the hill. Gonna have a look at that little pig farm. I'd say it looks fairly disused. Oink, oink. Anyone home? doesn't even smell of pig, which is probably a good thing.
No. Pretty grim place, really. Whoop. Bloody hell. Definitely looks more like a prisoner of war camp. It feels like one as well with all these fences and barbed wire and stuff. What's the barbed wire for? To stop the pigs getting out? Does it need to be seven foot high? So now we say goodbye to the Fort of Santa Maria. Bye Fort of Santa Maria. And we continue along this path. Well, would you look at this. Sea arch over there. This water is, the color of it is just ridiculous. It's like milk. Jellyfish. Cave. More caves on the cliff. And on the top there is the fort. Absolutely amazing. seen the movie Count of Monte Cristo you might recognize this place it's one of the locations in the film I've seen the film I can't remember it for the book it's a pretty nice spot sorry we are closed of course they are I'm probably the only tourist on the island right now not quite nine o'clock Cloudy morning, out of season. Uh, the weather's meant to be like this all day, so I'm hoping it doesn't affect the ferry schedule. The, uh, the Gozo ferries are still running, but the Camino ones are, well, the first one's meant to be half nine. I'm not even sure I'll make that one. I uh, might get the one in an hour later. That's the Angel of the North there, isn't it, surely? Oh, that's probably nothing to do with this, is it? Just a sticker some random person put up. But yeah, it's a shame can't go inside. But it's pretty cool. Just over here, we have... The Lunatic Asylum. Now, I've got to be quiet here because apparently people still stay in there. The two people that live here. And they might actually be lunatics. So it's just this building around here. Kind of scary actually. Kind of creepy. Creepy kind of vibe. Looks like it's got the ghosts of many straitjackets and crazy Victorian scientists. Anyway, I'm getting out of there. <laughs> it's kind of a freaky place. Down here, I've got the uh, Blue Lagoon again, which is where the boats start from. So, if I get there in the next half an hour, hopefully, I can get a boat 
back over to Malta. Okay guys, finally made it onto a boat. I had to wait about an hour and it doesn't even leave for an hour. So it's all good. I'm in a comfortable deck chair and the sun's out. It's all good. I survived the night, no lepers or loonies. Um, and yeah, it was a good, good little trip to Camino. Nice little 24 hours. And that's gonna wrap it up for me guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.